What's blue has four arms and is sweet skills. This mother. <laughs> Welcome to the season finale of Flight School. Today, we're going to give you a rundown of the skills you can perform with your Scadio 2. When in the air and not tracking a subject, your Scadio 2 will enter the hover skill. You can enter the hover skill at any time by pressing the red X at the top right corner of the app or by pressing the red stop button on the beacon. You can initiate motion tracking from the app by tapping the blue plus button on the subject you want to track. Note that all of the skills and settings available when flying with the app are also available when flying with the controller. To begin motion tracking from the beacon, point Skydio 2's camera at the subject you want to track. Select motion track from the cinematic mode selector and press the blue Skydio button. Once you begin moving, Skydio 2 will fly to the desired position. Motion tracking means that Skydio 2 will maintain both its position and direction relative to the subject as it moves. You can change the tracking distance of Skydio 2 using the plus minus buttons on either the app or the beacon. You can also change the orientation of Skydio 2 using the arrow buttons on either the app or the beacon. While tracking you, Skydio 2 will prioritize avoiding obstacles over maintaining the selected position, but it will return to the desired position once it is clear of obstacles. Fixed tracking is different from motion tracking. Skydio 2 will maintain its position relative to you, but the orientation the camera is facing will remain fixed. This is helpful if you want Skydio 2 to continue facing towards a specific landmark or to keep Skydio 2 away from obstacles. Fixed tracking can be found both in the app and in the Beacon Cinematic Mode Selector. While in the orbit skill, Skydio 2 will circle around you from a set distance at a constant rate and direction. Orbit can be initiated both in the app and from the Beacon's Cinematic Mode Selector. You can change tracking distance using the plus minus button in the app or on the Beacon, as well as change orbit speed and direction using the arrow buttons. Cable Cam will allow you to fly a pre-planned camera move from a start point to an end point smoothly transitioning camera position, as well as avoiding obstacles. Cable cam can be used when flying with the app or the controller. Once the cable cam skill is selected, pilot to the position and camera angle you would like Skydio 2 to start from and set that position as point A. Then, fly to the position and camera angle you would like to end in and set that position as point B. You can then initiate a flight from one point to another by tapping the A or B button on your device. You can also adjust the speed at which Skydio 2 will fly from point A to point B, or even track a subject as it flies along the cable. You can use Cable Cam to let Skydio 2 fly complex camera moves for you to reveal landscapes, set the scene of your movie, or just spice up your home videos. There are also several cinematic one-shots that you can perform with your Skydio 2. Rocket will fly straight up to get a bird's eye overhead view of your subject. Once Rocket is selected, you can adjust the speed or height settings. Boomerang will rotate once around the subject, beginning close, then flying outward and returning close to the subject. A vortex will begin close to the subject, then fly upwards and outwards while rotating around the subject. There are three styles of vortex to choose from.
And finally, a drone will fly outward and upward, revealing the landscape while continuing to track a subject. Drone can be accessed via the app, or you can perform an instant drone by double tapping the blue Skydio button on the beacon. Try doing an instant drone while moving for an awesome reveal of the landscape. This combination of skills will create unique and engaging videos for you to share. And those are all the sweet skills you can perform with your Skydio 2. Young and sweet, I... What should I say? Scoot, scoot, mother... Season finale, this is Nicole rolling in deep.